Bill Hammond, The Fall of Icarus In The Fall of Icarus, Bill Hammond gives us a picture of New Zealand as it might once have been. The painting shows a wet, lush rainforest. Strange birdmen figures stand in the work like guardians, defending a final outpost against some threat. However, Hammond also suggests that the danger may already have arrived. Empty bird skins hang from one tree, and the birds seem to have undergone a transformation, growing arms and legs and patterned suits of clothes. Hammond's inspiration for his unique bird figures came from a trip he made to the subantarctic Auckland Islands in 1989. Hammond has said, We would see groups of birds congregated on the shoreline gazing out to sea. You could walk past yellow-eyed penguins with their heads back, eyes rolled up strangely, their wings raised, and then come back three hours later and they would still be there, in exactly the same position, in a beautiful trance-like state. The fall of Icarus has a dreamlike, otherworldly feel, with its bird figures, fiery volcanoes and emerald green light. Hammond has described the Auckland Islands as being like New Zealand before human settlement. He says, You feel like a time traveller, as if you've just stumbled upon it. Primeval forests, ratas like Walt Disney would make. It's a beautiful place, but it's also full of ghosts, shipwrecks, death. Icarus was a famous figure in Greek mythology who fell to his death in the Icarian Sea after flying too close to the sun on a pair of artificial wings held together with wax. Hammond's painting is a response to another painting called The Fall of Icarus by 16th century Dutch artist Peter Bruegel. In Bruegel's version, Icarus plummets into the sea, unseen by peasants in the painting going about their daily lives. In Hammond's painting, Icarus's fall is represented by a thick streak of waxy white paint that tumbles from the top of the work as the birdmen watch on, unmoving.